Hello, my name is Constance Lewis. This is my self-introduction speech for my speech class at West Coast University in Ontario, California. A little bit about myself. I am 33 years old. I'm currently an LVN. I have two years and five months left of my BSN program. Yay! For all of you that are with me on this journey, uh, this is something that I have always wanted to do, something that is deep rooted in my heart and soul, and I really feel that this is my life purpose. So currently right now, I am an LVN at a few places. I work at a rehab and transitional care center in Glendora as a treatment nurse and a charge nurse. I also work with a wound care surgeon where I'm able to run around with him and go treat patients at either their homes, facilities, or boarding cares. Mostly it's for patients that have already had surgery and they have a wound or residents that might be on hospice or home health and they're in the home and they don't have daily access to a wound treatment a nurse or things of that nature so that is very interesting and exciting and that changes every single day but I absolutely love it. I am also a hospice nurse. Hospice, a lot of people always ask me, you know, how do you do it? How do you do it? And I say, you know what? My heart does it. You know, my brain knows my skills. I'm able to provide quality care. I'm able to assist and do whatever I need to do skill-wise. And then my heart and my spirit takes over and gives the patient energy that they need to get through. Hopefully help them transition to the next step of their life journey as comfortable as they can. And then I also give the support to the family because not only is the patient transitioning, the family is transitioning. The family is transitioning with that patient to get that patient to their next step of their life. And the family is still at a different step in their life. And so that's why I am there. And it is hard. I'll be honest with you, it is very hard. It tugs on my heartstrings on a daily basis. But knowing deep down that my patient is going to be pain-free, my patient is going to be walking around without a wheelchair or crutches or a walker and not be in any more pain, that's why I do it. And knowing that the family is going to be fully supported every step of the way, that makes me feel better. A little bit about myself. I am a mother of three. I have my oldest at eight. Her name is Madison. And she loves to sing. She's a very artistic child. She's already designing clothes and a total diva. But you know what? She's independent and I praise her for that. And I'm glad that she is able to uh, design her own life and work on things that she absolutely loves that increases and just gives her character. Absolutely loving watching her growing up. My middle child is Taitlin. Taitlin is six and a half. And wow, let me tell you, she is a firecracker. She keeps me on my toes. She is so, so compassionate and empathetic. I absolutely love love her. She is that child that will just go and sit in your lap and give you a hug after you've had a really hard day. She senses it. I guess she gets that that energy uh, draw from me, which is absolutely wonderful. And then there's my son. Yes, my son Dalton. He's four and a half. And that boy, that child, I don't know where he gets his energy from, but is so infectious. His energy is amazing. He is an amazing child. He always has to stay busy, but he is such a light to my life and to everybody that he meets. It's like his smile is just so contagious, and he's very, very artistic and eccentric, and he loves to build, so I keep him busy. I give him Legos, and I give him Play-Doh, and he builds such amazing things. The other day, he brought me this... this castle. I don't even know how to explain it. It was a mansion castle. And he said, Mommy, I built you a house. And I about died. And I thought, wow, yes, this is awesome. So that is just a little bit about me. I know you guys are going to be learning 
more about everybody and I hope to uh, grow in this this class to increase my speaking skills and it was a pleasure.